guys, Marco the Dog Trainer here. Today we're going to be doing a really quick overview video of the Dogtra IQ Mini. Now, out of all the collars I talk about on my channel, this is hands down the smallest. I mean, honestly, it's the smallest e collar I think I've ever seen through any brand. Now, in honesty, it's not a collar I find myself using super, super often, but there are these kind of one-off cases that, um, that this is the absolute perfect fit for. So let's just kind of talk through, you know, my general mindset when it comes to making a choice to use the IQ Mini. So more times than not, if I'm working with a small dog, I'm going to be thinking about the IQ Plus or the 280C, where if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that those two collars are basically the same size and shape. There's just a couple small differences between the two. So if those two collars don't fit um, the dog that I'm working with super well, or they're too big, or they're too bulky or heavy, um, that's when I'm going to start thinking about the IQ Mini. Now, like I said before, the IQ Mini does have some limitations to it um, that may limit what kind of small dog applications you can really use it for. So why don't we take a closer look at this collar so I can kind of walk you through everything you need to know. All right, guys, we've got the dog chair IQ Mini here. Let's really quickly run through everything that you guys need to know. So just like all the other models we talk about, it comes with the NIC constant and vibrate stimulation settings with the adjustable dial. Just like the IQ Plus, it comes with the option to be upgraded to a two-dog system right out of the box. So if I wanted, I could just buy a second collar and sync it up to option two to really easily make this a two-dog system. Now, um, this remote connects up to the collar for about, I think, 400 yards, if I'm not mistaken. And just like the IQ Plus, this is going to be a little bit limited with how wet it can get where the IQ Mini and the IQ Plus are the only ones that I talk about on this channel that are not entirely waterproof. So they're water resistant to some extent, but not at the same level as some of the other models that we talk about. Now, um, like I said before, this is one of the smallest e-collars you're really going to find. I think it only weighs about 1.3 ounces. Now, um, which is obviously one of the biggest advantages of, of this type of system, but I'm kind of connected to it because it is one of the smallest systems. I really need to point out that it is one of the weakest. So in almost every time I've ever used this collar, I've had to use it from 60 100, uh, to 100 just to get any type of response out of the dog that I'm working with. Now, again, I'm sure there are dogs out there that respond to lower numbers, but I just want you guys to understand that this is one of the weakest collars that we talk about on the channel. Um, now, the other limitation of this system is going to be the contact points, where the contact points, they actually can be an advantage where you'll see here, unlike every other collar we've talked about, this model has got these kind of plastic points that are built in. So you cannot adjust them or make them longer or shorter if you wanted to. Now, the advantage of that is that if we have a small dog that has allergy issues or, or is allergic to the kind of typical contact points, this works as a really, really good alternative because there's no metal there uh, to irritate our dog's skin. Now, more times than not, I'm going to say that these contact points are a limitation because, because we can't adjust them, um, this collar is really only going to work for small dogs that have very, very thin fur where if you were working with like a Pomeranian or something like that, it's going to be very, very difficult to get those contact points to, uh, to make connection with skin. So, um, so those are really the two main limitations of this system. It's going to be the strength of it, um, it's waterproofing, and um, the contact points that uh, are really just kind of fixed in place. So I think that is really everything you guys need to know. And like I said, I would probably check out my videos on the IQ Plus or the 280 before you make any kind of, uh, you know, final choice. But I think that that's everything you guys need to know for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.